This Planet for the week ending June 15th, 2018. A new study of male bottlenose dolphins reveals that the marine mammals bond and communicate by calling on their bros by name. They're the only animals besides humans that give different names to those in their friendship circle. In this case, using signature whistles for each other. Researchers say this helps them negotiate complex social relationships. The study also revealed that male dolphins spend a lot of time caressing each other with their fins, as if they're holding hands. The loss of ice across parts of Antarctica has added about a third of an inch to rising global sea level since 1992. This is now causing historic flooding in Miami and elsewhere. A new study says the loss is mainly due to the acceleration of glacial flows and the slowing growth of the Antarctic ice sheets. One graphic example of the melt is this massive iceberg about the size of Connecticut. It broke off from Antarctica in 2000. 18 years later, the iceberg can still be seen from space as it continues to break apart. Altogether, Antarctica stores enough frozen water to raise global sea levels by 190 feet. In a recent episode, we reported on a failure to remove and store carbon dioxide pollution from a fuel plant. Now a breakthrough. The greenhouse gas is being pulled directly from the atmosphere, and the price is right. A pilot facility in Western Canada has been extracting about one ton of CO2 per day at a cost of about $100 per ton. That's far less than the going price of about $600 per ton. The captured carbon can be stored in stone deep underground, helping offset the vast amounts of CO2 humans are pouring into the atmosphere. Or it can be combined with hydrogen to create a synthetic liquid fuel. For This Planet, I'm Steve Newman.